All right, I've gone over everybody's uh, roughs so far for your designs for your MLA Sunday poster. And um, for the most part, you know, people seem to have some good ideas. Um, everybody seems to have like really large type and uh, try and bring in that down a little bit. Um, I would like for you to go back to the Creative Allies website and look at go to scroll down when you go to the design contest and look where they'll have like winners announced and let's say let's look at the summer tour poster for Keen and notice like because this most of these are done in Illustrator and you can see how there's stuff illustrated and these are the finalists for that contest and you can see how we got a nice illustrated gradient and some simple buildings and good color schemes and let's see look and this was drawn in the illustrator and then there's this like simple geometric patterns and shapes and you notice that it's just a uh, good balance in color and contrast keep things like that in mind go back and look at several different ones of these and some of these will work more better for MLA Sunday as opposed to others some of them have like a bunch of monster gore stuff I don't think she'd be into that but if you look here at um, lights all night and here's some more interesting illustrator created art and this is just like little simple doodad looking things that repeat and that create a pattern but they're all a little bit different and here's like some simple designs just using triangles but it makes an interesting poster here's another one with a bunch of little geometric shapes making up a city type thing but keep looking back at stuff like this because this that's what's going to like turn your design brain on and get used to making high quality art now this is like an illustration class and not so much a graphic design class so this stuff's gonna the good designs are gonna come later but for now I want you to really focus on the illustration part and getting proficient in Illustrator so that when you have these ideas and the more things you do and the more designs that you look at the better your designs will be but focus on that later for now we're gonna focus on just really good illustration and illustrator techniques let's go back to another one I believe it was Al City so the more that you look at in these types of posters and here's like a nice simple one like with the mountains that would go along with uh, uh, some of MLA Sunday's music and we have nice simple designs a good use of gradient with some like little textures in the background and, and notice the type is in proportion with the design or matches the design il illustration style especially in this example here and here's like some nice little curly cue things and we got small type and some places in some particular designs large type will work but most of the time it's good to keep it in proportion with your design look at that one that's all these are just beautiful little designs and uh, and some of them are quite simple but it's elegant at the same time it's got a limited color palette I know hers she wanted uh, bright colors that doesn't necessarily mean use the entire color spectrum or rainbow um, she really seems to like the magenta color like if we go to her site like these colors so keep stuff like that in mind as you're finalizing your four designs let's see what let's go back up to her site uh -huh, there we go and notice her hair color and the magenta she really seems to work hard on that hair color like go to her website and watch videos of her there's a bunch of them on YouTube and keep going back to um, have a look at the editor's picks gallery from the Calvin Harris contest to get a better feel for the design. And 
I know some of you guys is actually kind of has this sort of feel to it, but look at the complexities in there. There's like nice little patterns back in here, and then the way the gradients are nice and smooth. And this one here has got a bunch of little swirly lines drawn with this um, knocked out of it, but then it's all matching. And it's just two colors, but it creates an interesting poster that may be relevant to Calvin Harris's stuff. I haven't looked him up. And here's a nice simple and just grayscale, but nice simple little triangles, but beautifully illustrated. So keep in mind that it's an illustration class, and we're focusing on the program Illustrator. And it looks like they created a grid and used some of those twirly warp tools in Illustrator to break that up. And most of the designs are done in Illustrator. Every once in a while you'll see like some Photoshopery in here, but you know that's another class. All right, I hope that helps you guys. And that is the main thing is keep going back and looking at these designs and then look at your designs, go back and forth, and you're going to see um, where they differ. And start looking at these designs and thinking of, thinking of them. Make yourself a critic and look at them and going, oh, that really works because the color scheme is nice. And it's like that nice, simple travel pattern, but it works So look at these, go back and work on yours, think of ways that you can use Illustrator, and then I'll make another little video here that will show you some quick, simple techniques to get a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff in quickly that you can work with.